I'm passionate. I'm passionate, guys. Okay. I'm sorry to start the video off like this, but at the same time, I'm not. I'm disgruntled, dismayed, perplexed. I purchased something on eBay. It was a hat, right? A hat that you put on your head, like this. And um, this is how it was shipped to me, brothers. Oh my God. In an envelope. And it says, do not cut open. Look at that. Tripping. I can't even use Trish, the blonde hair bitch, my stallion of a box opener on this package. So, I just can't even do a correct intro. I just have to dig into what's going on with this parcel right now because there's no way, there is no, 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 no way an adult human eBay seller just shipped a hat in an envelope. This is a cardinal sin of shipping, bro. They going to hell. Look at this. I couldn't even, bro, wait, it says don't even cut right there. I don't even know where to cut this. I'm, I'm cutting corners just like they are, except I literally am because I have to. Bruh, come on, man. This is just, this is unreal. Unbelievable. All right, let's see what's happening. This better be a random person who sent me something. Oh, oh, it's not. Oh, it's not. Are you kidding me? Is this pita bread? Why the hell is the hat like this, bro? This shit looking like a damn soft taco of shipping. This is... Do better, bro. This is unreal. They legit marked the product as brand new stock. And then they just straight ruined it by shipping like this. You blew it! So, I got this Houston Oilers painter's hat. Very sick, super old school vintage. Got the helmet on the top. Houston, Houston Oilers, okay? So it's a unique little piece of headwear as it is, but just the methodology of shipping it like this is just straight stupid, bruh. Stupid. They're getting a bad review. I hate to do it, but how can you, bro, how can you sleep at night? I'ma haunt your ass. Damn. Let's at least see if we can redeem ourselves with the on-head fit. I venture to say no, but at the same time, I know I'm sexy, <laughs> bro. Ah, it's just like I, I would need to like iron out these wrinkles, bro. I need to get one of those damn air fryers of irons. You know what I mean? What, I don't even know what that's called. I can't think of it right now. It's like the vacuum that gets out wrinkles, dude. No. Anyways, guys, what's up? What's glorious? What's happening, Captain? As you can see, Charles with the most Paul can too. Back with the video. I know you guys probably thought I'd be coming through with these two video a week drops now, but no. Beast Week really did invigorate me and inspire me to make more content. I mean, it was a lot of time editing. Don't get it twisted. It was a lot of work, but it was a lot of fun at the same time. And then seeing all you guys interacting in the comment section, watching all the videos, and seeing the views just go up with each passing day, especially when I was dropping the content on random days at random times and seeing you guys still interacting and Fs with the videos, it really inspired me. So I'm gonna try and drop a lot of content this week as well. And if you guys have an idea of a cool challenge to do for a week or a month, let me know. I was thinking about maybe thrifting every day for a month next month, but if I were to do that, the edits would just be me chopping up the clips with no sound effects or nothing of that nature, just because that's truly what takes the work is putting in all the sound and all the clips and all of that. But anyways, yeah, we have a huge subscriber unboxing. You guys sent me a lot of stuff to my P.O. box. Check it out, dude. Check it out. So we have a lot of stuff right here to dig into, and that's what we're gonna do. So without further ado, let's get into it. Like the video. All right, guys, so we're gonna start off with a bang. I know it's gonna be some certified flame. It's from my boy um, Cam at Air Portland. Yes, that is a, or was a vintage shop in Portland, Oregon. Unfortunately, it got broken into during the protests True. that went astray. And yeah, my man's got his store just straight ransacked. So go follow him on Instagram. Go support him, especially if you live in the Pacific Northwest. But wait, why did I open that with scissors, bro? I can unleash the horse. I'm sorry, guys. I know you were looking for it. But let's see what he went ahead and sent your boy. Oh my God, bro. This is unreal. Hold on. This is unreal. He sent me a grail. I gotta, hold on. I gotta show you guys this grail. 
before I get into it. Look, when something bad happens, bro, I guess something good makes up for it. Check this out. The homie sent me the vintage Houston Oilers NFL Pro Line snapback. So clean, logo athletic. Just look at the color swirl right here. This is like a panda with a little bit of that baby blue infusion. Oh my God. Dude, the tramp stamp on the back is unreal. Got that nice little side skirt detail. And then look at the booty, bro. NFL Pro Line. This hat is absolutely crazy. I don't know if you guys know, but I stay on the hunt for Houston Oilers snapbacks. And dude, this one definitely is it, Chief. And I just happen to be wearing Oilers stuff today. Bro, this is a match made in heaven. Thank you so much, Cam. Y'all go with your boy. But uh, let's get into this literature real quick. <clears throat> he says, Paul, hope everything is well. Here's that hat I said I would send you a while back, LOL. I threw in some more goodies. We are releasing some new merch soon as well. I'll send some more your way if you like it. Hopefully you can schedule a flea market for you to make an appearance at soon. Keep killing it, much love, Cam Gilly. Okay, so unfortunately you guys know, this was sent to me a while back too, bro. It takes me a while to get to unboxing stuff. But uh, unfortunately, due to the illness and all that, we ain't have no flea markets, no pop-ups, no nothing. But this hat is something, man. It's it's crazy. So he sent me some merch, which I definitely am going to sport. Uh, let's get into it. First shirt, simple, sleek, sexy, and white. Air Portland right there. Clean with the little rose. All right. We got another piece. Oh, this one is fire. You already know. Check this out, man. Nice sandstorm color scheme. Ooh. Oh my God, bro. You got that air, what does this say? Oh, airborne Bart. That's fire. And air is spelled with an H, you dig. But yeah, it has Bart Simpson kind of in his operation, Desert Shield, Desert Storm camo. Boy looking like he's part of uh, Saddam's regime, you feel me? And then last but not least, we have the same first shirt in the black variety as well so thank you so much cam i appreciate you bro this is crazy i cannot believe he sent me this clean oilers hat like these oilers hats are pretty valuable so the fact that he just gifted me that bad boy it really goes to show that he's a good dude and what's crazy is when, when his store got broken into i like i had to send him something you know because i like this situation just sucks bro so i had to help him out i didn't even know he sent me this at the time so it's just crazy like karma works in unique ways and uh yeah man Hopefully you recover soon and thank you so much. All right, next we're gonna delve into some envelopes. And yes, we got the thoroughbred on deck right now. Uh, let's see what's happening in here, guys. All right, there is no note on this bad boy, but um, I got sent some vintage heat. Who is this from, bruh? Uh, Count Stitches. Thank you, Count Stitches. You didn't leave any note, any promotion. You're just really sending me stuff because you you asked with me. I appreciate that, fam. Uh, the homie Count Stitches sent me this. The Dallas Cowboys NFL Vintage Crew Neck. Thank you so much. And then uh, we also have what appears to be a uh, Batman t-shirt as well. What does this say on it? Oh no, it says Buttman, excuse me. It's a chicken a thong, dude. I just, I just got visually juked out, bro. Like this visually broke my ankles or, or my eye socket, my irises got just obliterated. Thank you, man. We love seeing that yellow bone ass. All right, this next uh, piece is from Dewey Mosher. D-A-U-I. I don't know exactly how that would be uh, enunciated. Can you use it in a sentence, please? But I guess it's like Kawhi, except with a D. I don't know, I might be wrong. To him. Let's see what's up in here. Oh, yes. All right, so <laughs> this person has been commenting on my videos for a hot minute about me checking my P.O. box because they sent me something super relevant and those are some uh, virus protection systems. It says, hey Paul, hope you are well. I've been watching your vids for over a year. Wow. And you, now, I can't read. And you have inspired me so much. I thrift all the materials for my projects and make clothes, furniture, and lots more. Ooh, could you shout out my Insta store? At Malakoy Clothing. Boom, it's right here. Go check it out, thank you. You won't believe it. My camera just died and I had unboxed everything. 
So yeah, I just recorded for 15 minutes upstairs with no AC on, no fans. That way the audio experience is perfect. perfect. And uh, look at all this stuff I unboxed. And now I have to put it all back and not have my genuine reactions. This is lame, dude. But guess what? You guys blessed me with shit, so I'm gonna get over it and we don't get to it again. Back to the lecture at hand, I wanna shout out the homie Dowie or Dawai from Malakoy Clothing who made me these custom goose bump masks. So you guys know, man, I've been thrifting through the pandemic and uh, having a fire mask is definitely ideal to say the least and these masks are so sick. So go F with the homie on Instagram. You guys already know what time it is. Um, yeah, they've been dropping consistent comments on my YouTube, which is lit because I know they watch the videos telling me about this parcel that's been waiting. And um, no worries, man, there is a mask order out in Texas. Trust and believe it's going crazy out here. So yeah, I can't wait to rock these. Same piece of fabric. This one got the dude's faces on it. And this thing is absolutely flamboyant, bro. So I'll be over here just keeping my germs and bad breath to myself in style. And I really do appreciate that. Okay, so the next package which has already been opened, but we're not gonna talk about it. Is um, from the homie David Levine right here. It says, Paul, big fan of your YouTube videos, especially your restoration and DIY videos. Keep them coming. It's been a minute, bro. I'm sorry. It says, uh, you're the only person who makes trips to the three videos that I watch. Everyone else is hella boring. The shorts are new school, but still cool. Spoiling it, and as soon as I saw them, I had to grab them for you. I hope they fit. I included some hometown vintage basketball and baseball cards. Thanks for the videos, especially during this pandemic house arrest. I live on Long Island in New York, so I may be still living like this for a while longer. Um, yeah, go check out the homies Depop, which is at 516 Vintage, and his Instagram at vintage underscore 516. Stay up and stay healthy, David. All right, so yeah, as you guys know by the spoiler alert in the envelope, so I guess I'm not giving up too much by previously unboxing this, you have these crazy lacrosse shorts, six and nine color scheme, literally looking like the interior of a pinata or one of those eggs that you bust on someone's head and then confetti comes out, confetti egg. I think that's what it's called. And then yeah, we got some classics. You got the Sam Castle card, um, Houston, Texas. This fool got that head. You also have that Butamus Vernon Maxwell card. And then you have the Scott Brooks as well. And then look at this. I mean, it's so hot up here. You guys heard me complaining about it. If I just unfurl these cards, I can cool myself at the same time. So I appreciate that, David. Thank you so much. This next little piece says, what up, Paul? Nothing crazy in here. Just some random shirts you can use while you work on your garden, LOL, from your boy Jacob and V. So shout out Hakob. I do believe this was in his parcel. Everything got kind of mixed up, so I'm sorry, guys, and I had no footage to reference. But you have the cool Iron Mike Dicka button right here, Chicago Bulls, Bears. Wow. And on the back, it has this nice speaker included. So I guess this thing used to be able to talk to me. Um, I might have to replace the batteries and see what Coach Mike has to say about the situation. Now the clothes that I got sent are completely random, bro. This one is like from some community college. Oh no, 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 that's a university, bro. Northeastern Illinois University. Shout out whoever goes there. If you watch this, please drop a comment. It says, be you, be well. Already, man. And then this shirt right here, now this is something crazy. That pure protein. This is why you let you let the women suck the man meat for that pure protein. From the family jewels comes pure protein. Anyways, this is super sick. Eat my kids. Um, fire. Okay, I'm definitely getting more explicit with this rendition of the unboxing. Now, another package that I got sent is this big old boy right here. No reads. Hey Paul, long time viewer here. I just wanted to send you some things that I have found while thrifting. You got me into thrifting a long time ago and I enjoy watching your videos, so keep them up. Hopefully you like this stuff and if not, feel free to sell whatever you don't like. My Instagram, at not so simple. P.S. F that girl who told you to stay inside as long as you go outside with a mask and practice social distancing, you are good. Exactly. So if you guys don't know, follow me on Instagram. This girl tried to tell me I should use my platform to tell everyone not to thrift, but instead stay inside. Bruh, this is my livelihood. And also, I'm not a political leader. But yes, please wear a mask. And if anything, go support the homie. These masks go hard. Anyways, 
This package is just full of grails, like, oh my god. I just, my genuine reaction was so nuts on it, but either way, man, we got some flames in here. You guys know I love the vintage snapbacks. I love having some heat on head. And check this out, you have the Coca-Cola, brand new with tags, live from Atlanta, Olympics hat. Oh my god, forest green, white, crispy, Coca-Cola. This is a hat by the game, and it is the flame, all right? <laughs> and then you also have this Dallas Cowboys vintage snapback, Super Bowl champions, bruh. This is my team. Bro, the Oilers, huh, I wish they were still around. I remember watching a couple games as a young and youngin, but then the Cowboys took over from there. Dallas Cowboys, I love this weird kind of beige, like, pink nude color scheme on the front two panels absolutely crispy this thing looks like it has never touched anyone's head and i really do appreciate this fireball i will most assuredly be rocking this now speaking of the coke theme bruh look at this box all right this is as artistic as it gets it says always cool like this piece in and of itself is just a cardboard display but then look we just doubled the visual experience. You have the mug that says always cool on it. Again, same logo, same graphic, absolutely fantastic. And I appreciate this. Just know I'm gonna separate the twins and put the box somewhere and then the, the mug somewhere else. So I just can oh, constantly be seeing this beautiful visual. So thank you. Now we have a bunch of shirts as well. This shirt I actually used to have. It is this Native American and this wolf tee right here, clean and crispy. This was a banger, dude. On the first take, I went ham about this shirt. 90s colorway, nacho cheese bottom, huge Tommy Fahu and Mami flag, absolute gem with the green bean collar. And then it just, it just keeps going, bro. Look at this graphic. Birds of Prey, you got the Harley Davidson Bahamas, real tropical in this thing. The eagle just out here. And then we have another Harley shirt. Oh, this one unreal, bro. Got the dog on it, nice militarized green. It says Caliente, Harley Davidson, San Antonio, Texas. Got some kind of home state heat as well. And then the homie threw in this butamous mustard interior, heavily embroidered Nautica jacket, Nautica on the back and also a champion reverse weave crew neck bruh navy green all embroidered uh smells like the thrift mm, quite pungent stings the nostrils but absolutely perfect man perfect. these are all extremely valuable pieces and i really am thankful that you sent them to me it truly means a lot and i know you sent me something else and i need to find it here it is. I forgot to put this back in the box, but I hate a what, bro? I hate a Goofy especially. You got the Goofy mug. This thing is so large, bro. I could easily eat ramen noodles out of this. It ain't no problem. That ain't no problem? Huh? That ain't no problem. There's a spider and a pube on the inside as well. So yeah, I can't wait to clone you via your pubic hair. And thank you for including that. Definitely not gonna wash this. Just gonna eat the ramen noodles and that little man noodle. You know what I mean? pubic hair shout out the homie brandon i bought this shirt from him on instagram it says hauling assets it is a turtle with a wagon of other turtles because my spirit animal is a turtle so i can't wait to rock this shirt man fresh as shell <laughs> anyways hopefully you guys enjoyed this video i'm so sorry to everyone who sent me stuff that my camera quit recording i don't know it might have been tired of recording or the memory card was full. I have no idea what was going on with it, but it just sucks because y'all send me all this, but you know what? I'm not going to complain. I'm not going to make it about me. This is about you guys, and I really appreciate each and every one of you guys for sending me this stuff because it truly is awesome and amazing. Uh, I just wish I would have got my genuine reaction is all I'm saying. Anyways, thank you to everyone also who watched Beast Week. I'm going to be trying to upload a lot of videos because five videos was a lot of fun to do, a lot of fun to make, and I'm glad all you guys joined me on the journey because I dropped videos throughout the week at random times, sometimes early, sometimes late, and you guys still congregated and watched, which I appreciate. So anyways, man, live the dream, eat that ice cream. My PO box is linked in the description. If you guys want to send me anything, I definitely will unbox it, and uh, we'll talk about it. So thanks, guys, and until next time, I'm locked, I'm loaded, I'm out. Killing these songs, leaving a bloody life, I roost them. And I'm in it to win it, so I'm somebody that you should get used to. You should get used to, you should get used to.